Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So in our, in our previous lecture, we discussed about how to select the value from the drop down. It was a bit tricky. Uh, you should uh, look at the previous video in order to understand how to select the value from the drop down. I'll be sharing the same in the description. So today we are going to discuss about how to use actions class in WinApp driver, which is almost similar to Selenium and how to select the value from the drop down using the actions class in with the so let us jump to the code lump let us jump to the code editor so if you look at it i have noted it uh, like i have created the class already so in this case what i am doing similar to the previous case i'm opening the notepad then i'm clicking on settings later on i am clicking on font section and then after what i'm trying to do i'm getting the combo box which is of no use in this case uh, the main line is this line number 38 wherein I got the element the combo box style type right where which for, from which I want to select the value then what I'm doing I'm creating the actions instance actions class instance similar to what we used to do in selenium I'm just passing the windows driver which we have instantiated then after what I'm doing actions dot click first I am uh, clicking on the element this uh, combo box element as like we done uh, we did in the previous session and then what then after what i'm doing i am then pressing the arrow down so in case we want to go to the adjacent values then this is the best option so what i'm doing first i'm clicking on the element then after i am going to select the value by the arrow down key and later on once the focus has been shifted then i'm clicking on enter key then i'm performing build and then the perform operation so this is the syntax of selenium which we used to do so i'm now going to run it and let us see like how it works so first it will launch the notepad then it will click on settings you see it will click on the drop down and now it has selected bold italic previous one was the bold and through actions we are able to select the value from the drop down so this is uh, for this lecture so in the next lecture we are going to discuss about how to switch to window handles thank you